How's it going everyone? I'm Craig Mitch, this is Ruben, and this is your personal hub for everything England throughout the World Cup. This is the Lions Den. Yes! <laughs> Come on, people! <laughs> Welcome to the Lions Den. As I said, and listen, I've got that three-point feeling right now. I can't lie. I have it. Oh, it's going through my body, all right? We are coming live from the England camp, the Players Hotel, and today I'm joined by England and Chelsea midfielder Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Ruben, how are well, you? Well, I'm good. You good, yeah? Yeah, I'm good. Love man. that you came with the work one. Hey, right, listen, it's going to be a jam-packed show. We've got so much coming for you guys. I want to let you know straight off the bat, though, Listen, you have to subscribe, like the video, do all of that stuff. Do all of it. Do straight all off the of it. Ah, see? Now, before we go on, it's customary that um, all of the guests we invite in here offer them a drink. So oh. in the fridge, we've got, um, we got a Lucas Aid, we've got, we got uh, a water, and then at the bottom here, we've got Craig Mitch's Secret Shake, bro. What one are you going to go for? I'm going to have to try the Secret Shake. <laughs> That's what I'm saying! Right. Hey, this is... Everyone's done it, though. I, I have to respect it. What do you want? Do you want there's a pink one or there's a brown one? Are uh, they not chocolate and strawberry now? I, I, don't, I don't know, they're secret. I can't say. Let me go, let me go with the brown one. You go with the brown one? Okay. Cool, I'll take the pink one. Like that. Taste it. Tell me what you think. Chris. Give it a stir, uh, give it a stir. Uh, let me, give it a bit of a stir. Let me whip it up. <laughs> whip it, whip it, whip it, whip an excursion. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Proper? Yeah, that's proper. Come on! That's proper, that's proper. Love that, love that. All right, guys, so like I said, make sure you subscribe, make sure you've liked. Also, this is what we're going to do as well. I want you to leave in the comments below your three word summary of the game against Tunisia last night. What is your three word summary? It has to be creative, unique, and we'll pick the best ones at the end of the show and read some of them out. So make sure you do that, your three word summary. What a game it was. It was a game, wasn't it? Oh, it was a game, man. Proper, proper game. All right, let me give you a summary of what's coming up on today's show. <clears throat> Need to clear my voice, sorry. We've got the poll, but today's poll won't be a social media roundup. Today's poll will be something different. We'll be back with the social media roundup in an episode or two, so make sure you look out for that. Don't worry, the leaderboard's still going to be there, but we've got a whole new poll. We're going to bring that soon. We're also going to have the best reactions from social media after the win last night. All of the crazy reactions, videos from social media, tweets, Instagrams, all of that good stuff. We're also going to have a more in-depth chat with Ruben, man like Ruben that is just here. Uh, we've also got something special with Harry Kane. Make sure you look out for that. That's coming later on in the show as well. Nice little teaser. And then we're going to have that video call with a fan because we love to talk to fans. We love to talk to you guys. But we'll kick it off with the poll, all right? And to get interactive in this poll, there's an I button right here on YouTube. Make sure you click that I button right there. And today's poll is, after last night's game and the World Cup so far, do you think the AR is a success? How well do you think the AR is doing? Uh, if you think it is a success, then vote A, yes. If you don't, vote B, no. Let us know at the end of the show, what do you think? How do you think VR is doing, personally? I think he's, no, he's doing well. Yeah? I think he's doing well because you can't get away with anything right now, can you? Yeah. Because, like, you can't give it a little cheeky elbows, none of that. Like, not that I do it. that, but... Yeah, I know what you're saying. It's not no. like the 90s, mate, where people used to do all kinds of... Get out of the way. Just, just kick people in all sorts. Listen, if you agree with rooms, then just let us know in the comments below and make sure you vote on the poll, more importantly, OK? Yes, if you want VAR and you're happy with VAR, no, if you're not enjoying it and you think it's messing up. Let us know and then we'll reveal the results of the poll at the end of the show. All right, guys. Now, listen, after last night's roller coaster game, we decided to grab all of the best reactions from social media. Um, let's have a look at them. Okay, this one comes from Mark Helis and he said, what a finish to the game, discipline performance right to the end and what scenes as the winner went in. England's going all the way, hashtag in, hashtag free lines. Look at that, that's a nice picture right there. Great to see Mark amongst it. What else have we got? Oh, oh, my God. God. 
Team Jordi. He's been on the top. This one from the terrace. And uh, this one comes from Charlotte Holland. Uh, she's part of the England Supporters Club. She's a member there. And you can see she's got a picture with Robbie from Arsenal Fan TV. Troops, what a picture. Um, yeah, it's good to see everyone amongst it in the stadium right now. <laughs> this one comes from Theo. <laughs> <laughs> This one comes from Michael Long. He said, beautiful place, beautiful people. Don't believe the sun. Ah, oh, he's one some Middlesbrough fans out there in Volgograd at, uh, at the Fans Fest, as you can see. And it looks pretty amazing. Oh, oh shit. Did you get a chance to check out the Fan Fest? No? No, I didn't. No, Focus no. on the game. I see how it is. <laughs> oh, <my gosh. laughs> this one from the sportsman. <laughs> Look at this absolute scene. This one from Casual Mind. Celebrating the Maidstone, crazy. No pack, the kit man here in uh, the England camp. One hour, one hour after the final whistle, unbelievable effort. Look at the fans, they stayed and loved it and packed it and filmed the incredible scene. Big up for Steve. This one comes from Mike Watson. Genuine media posted this. Matt, that is absolutely mental. All right, Ruben, I gotta ask you, man, straight off the bat, well, how, how does it feel seeing people just celebrate like that? Like football really brings people together. Yeah, I was just thinking that, like everyone, everyone forgets about who supports who, like club, club wise, and everyone comes together and just celebrates together. It's, it's crazy. Like crazy. As, a, as someone that's actually on the pitch, obviously you guys have got a lot of tunnel vision. You're focused on the task at hand. And you don't really, you know, pay too much attention to the media and stuff. You're just focused on training, getting the results out there. But, yeah. but seeing that, bro, that must just, like, give you goosebumps. Yeah, no, it's like, because we're in this, like, little bubble and we, we've got a vision, we're, we're focused mm. and we, we don't really notice, like, what's going on around the outside, especially in England, like, and to see those images. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's Did you ever used to get involved in all of that stuff back in there when tournaments was on? Did you used to watch games and celebrate with your friends yeah, and stuff? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Do you know what the like money's Barbecues, oh, yeah, do you know what I mean? Amazing barbecues, you have to do it at barbecues, get the food out, enjoy it. Do you know what's crazy though, what I find is like, 
I know people have celebrated crazy before when England have won games, but I don't know, maybe, maybe it's because it's social media, or maybe not, but I feel like people are celebrating even more this year. Like, they're really behind the no, team. I haven't, I haven't seen stuff like that. That was mental. It's next like, level. And this is the big... flying up in the air, like... It's crazy. <laughs> beer showers. It literally looks like a festival. It looks like park life or something. Like, I don't know what's going on. Um, I need to ask you, I mean, how, how did it feel for you personally making your competitive senior debut? Nah, it felt good, man. Yeah. Like, when you... Obviously, when you're playing, you don't think about it, but, like, afterwards, you, like, sink in and it's like... Just played in a World Cup, man. It's crazy it's because crazy, man. you started the season. You know, you went on, you went on loan to Crystal Palace. Did you ever know back then that you, you probably had your eyes set on the World Cup, but did you know you'd be making your debut, or was you no. sure? Or I didn't even have my eye on it, to be honest. Really? Yeah, because like coming from Chelsea, I didn't play hardly anything. Yeah. And then um, for me, it was about going Palace and then trying to play like get as much time as possible. Obviously, mm. ended up being a being a regular, and yeah. I got got my England chance then um, and then from that point you know I had an eye on it because obviously I'd done I'd done well in my time at England so yeah I'd, then I got the injury which yeah which uh, had some doubts about but you know I got going after that and didn't stop you though and then like you said when you started playing for England you know you were just not making people all over the place <laughs> not making superstars and that you know it always helps doesn't it um, I want to ask you about you know when you came on you know some people were saying that you know England I don't want to say they were getting a bit flat, but you could see it had been a long game. It was very humid over there in Volgograd. And then you and Mark Strashford, when you came on, you gave that bit of energy. You was very direct, quite aggressive. Is that something Gareth told you to do? Or is that something you said, I'm just going gonna, gonna to go for it? No, I think it was just a you know, natural instinct, you know, when the game's like that, um, not long left. You have to mm. try and make stuff happen, take risk. And I thought, you know, let me just go on, be direct and... Yeah, try, try and make things happen, man. Every time you got the ball and you went down that right, it's just, it was a problem. <laughs> the Fed was having nightmares, bro. They're probably still thinking about it today. They're like, thank God you didn't play a whole 90 minutes. Would have been long. Um, describe the feeling for you personally when, when Harry Kane headed that ball in, in, in injury time. Oh, you know, I, I was at the near post and it kind of like, I was like, just look back. What and, and I saw Harry there, I was like, thank God this Harry. Thank God. You say, what you Harry? You thinking, I know this yes, is going to go in. Thank God this Harry and you just put it in. Yeah. And, yeah, and what was it? Was you, was you relieved or was you just, just a static? What was the feeling? It was, I don't know, man. I was just running. <laughs> <laughs> I was just Didn't running. even think about it. Just run to the corner and celebrate. <laughs> I love how everyone celebrated. So everyone just kind of just jumped yeah, to each other like yeah. one of them piles. Oh, mate, You've seen That's the pictures. About, oh, it, doesn't, it doesn't get much better than that, to be honest. Um, I have to say, you know, we, we were 1-0 up through Harry. And then, obviously, they got the penalty, which was unfortunate. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, it shows a great togetherness, doesn't it? Like, to, to literally get a last-minute winner. Yeah, yeah. And I thought we did so well in the first half. Mm. Like, the chances we had in the first half could have been... Could have killed it off. Yeah, yeah. Could have been a few, few goals. So, you know, to keep the, keep, the, keep the faith and, you know, stay patient and... Mm. Then, Get a goal at the end, it's fantastic. Exactly, and some people, you know, some people are getting frustrated saying it's Tunisia, we should be winning. But I mean, you saw what Argentina and Iceland, you yeah. know, Argentina's got possibly one of the greatest players of all time, yeah. and they couldn't find that winner. Do you know what I mean? And we yeah. dug deep against Tunisia, which is arguably a better side than Iceland, arguably, and, and we found a winner. So it, we've got a great togetherness in this squad, it shows. Yeah, and it's tough, man. Any game in the World Cup is tough. None of them's like easy. The, the energy like teams get just from playing in the World Cup, and you know, even if even if you're an underdog, man, it's hard. So, you know, well done to the team. Man. Definitely, well well done to you guys. I've got some questions coming in here on YouTube. Uh, Darren Marrero, I hope I said your name right. Said, Ruben, how does it feel playing in the World Cup? Does it differ from other games such as the Premier League? I think he's talking about the level. The level. Yeah. Um, I think Premier League is high level, man. Um, yeah. And I think in international international football is a bit different, but. Um, I didn't really feel a difference in that Premier League to World, to World Cup. Mm. Um, pretty much the same for me. Just, just do you, man. Yeah, he just yeah. believes in his ability. Uh, William Colley, I hope I said your name right as well, said, um, how is the team after the win? We're really good, man. Yeah, three really point really feeling. <laughs> that three point feeling, bro. Is good it? spirits. Good spirits in the camp. Yeah? yeah and um, yeah. Aaron H said, uh, are you hoping to start the next game? Whatever, man. I'm, I'm happy... If I start, I'll start. If I don't, you know, I'll be ready to come on again if, 
I get the opportunity. So. Bro, I love that attitude, man. You're, listen, you're actually sick, fam. I rate that. <laughs> um, I need to speak about the conditions a bit. I mean, obviously, we do. it's not about making excuses, but it weren't easy. You know, it was no, humid. No, no. And how much mosquitoes were out there? Are they mosquitoes? I think they were mosquitoes. <laughs> what do you think they were? Oh, I didn't know mos- like moths or something. Like, uh, moths. Oh, were they know. moths? I don't know what, what yeah. they were. Were they moths? You I tell me. Know. I was there. Know. I don't know. There was insects anyway. Insects. <laughs> insects. <laughs> was there a lot of them? Was it, was it annoying? So many. that nah, We came out to, uh, to warm up at half time. Yeah. When you're running, it's fine. Uh, but as soon as you stop, wow. Just feel it's that just twitch. Like... Did you see this picture? So basically, there was a broadcaster on pitch side, and apparently she was wearing a bee net. You know when you go into like, <laughs> it's like a veil of some sort to protect her yeah, face. She yeah. was not having none of it. It's like them, them, them beehive Yeah, yeah, it's literally like she's going to dig for honey or something. I don't know what she's doing there. That is absolutely hilarious. She's like, no, I ain't going to let no insects mess up my makeup. It's not happening. This took an hour to set up, not my makeup. Um, finally, you know, you're a new member of the squad, but a popular member. Um, but you've settled in pretty quickly. I mean, how have the group been? Is it just welcoming? Yeah, I know a few of the boys before anyway, and I think we're all, like a bunch of a young lads, so we get along really mm. well, man. Do your work. Do your work. work. Now. Yeah, yeah. Do your work. Do your work. <laughs> Listen, yeah. Make sure you're filming. You've watched Power, yeah? Have you seen Ghost? <laughs> I have. <laughs> I have moved, <laughs> <laughs> I need to ask you about that. I mean, do you get that a lot? Say, people say you look like um, Ghost from Power. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Do you watch yeah. Power? I watched a bit of it. You haven't watched the whole thing? No, nah, I haven't watched the whole thing. I was going to say, but it's, either, it's, it's, it's either Ghost or AJ. Not any Joshua. But I don't see it, man. I, I, do you know what it is? I, I don't think you look exactly like them, but I think if we had to put you in a category of guys that look the same, you'd be in the same category. Uh, Oh, okay. But I don't think that's a bad category. I see girls, you know, I think yeah. you lot, that's a, if you lot made a squad, that'd be a crazy five-a-side <laughs> or three-a-side squad. Like, the guys would have to lock up their daughters and wives. It's absolutely <laughs> mad. All right, guys, let's get on to a VT. Um, this was special, right? This was a, a VT with uh, the man of the match yesterday. Have a look at this. Tunisia, massive game. I mean, how did it feel to not only get your first World Cup goal, but to bag a brace and get the winner, bro? Yeah, no, it's what dreams are made of, you know. It's uh, such a good, good feeling. Uh, so proud of the team, you know. We we fought to the end. Uh, I thought we played really well, especially first half. Uh, was unlucky not to score, maybe a few more. Yeah. <laughs> you could just still be dying. Like I can, that, yeah. I can. But uh, that we kept going to the end, and it was a massive result uh, yeah. to start the tournament. I mean, listen, what what was going through your mind when you grabbed that second? Because like, I saw the euphoria, but what was the feeling like? Yeah, it's hard to explain. Obviously, you get such a good feeling any goal you score but uh, to score a winner in a World Cup like that it's just uh, yeah incredible uh, and like I say the celebrations and watching the celebrations back home oh, in the stadium uh, like I say I, I've been part of that uh, before when I was a kid watching football so uh, to see it and be part of it is amazing so there you have it <laughs> me in an ice bath with Harry K how do you not do these ice baths? I couldn't, my legs were dying. It hurts, doesn't it? It's killing. And one of my hands was in there trying to cover my private parts. <laughs> so my hand was freezing itself. What about your feet? What about your feet? My feet, cold, like, absolutely. Anyway, guys, if you want to see the rest of that, the full video of me doing the ice bath challenge with Harry Kane uh, and interviewing him is going to be out later on the YouTube channel. So make sure you look out for that. Um, all right, so listen, it is time for that part of the show where we phone a fan. So... Let's see who we have here. See if he's got some questions. <laughs> hey! How's it going, mate? Very good, mate. Very good. CJ, um, it's CJ, right? Um, I want to show you yeah. my, our special guest on today's show. Say hello to Ruben Loftus Cheek. Uh, oh, excellent! You're right, Ruben. You're right, mate. Have you got any questions for Ruben? Um, probably only the generic ones, really. What was it mm. like playing in your, you know, in a World Cup, you know, and things, things like that, really, Ruben? <laughs> what, what was how, it like? What were you feeling? Did, did you? When did you know that you were going to be on the bench or not in the team and? That sort of thing, really. Um, the gaffer gave the team uh, two days before this time, so we had a feeling like obviously I know I'd be on the bench, and but I didn't know I was gonna come on. So like when I come on, it was like amazing, man, playing the World Cup. 
not many people, are, you know, not many players do that. So it's amazing for me. Yeah. Any no, other questions? I like your sunglasses, by the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sick, bro. Do you want me to pull them up? See, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> behind my face, mate. Yeah, you don't want to look at that. So. Yeah, actually, Re Ruben, I saw you play, because uh, I'm a Coventry fan, but I go to neutral games. I saw you play against Tel Aviv about three or four years ago for, um, in the Champions League. Um, Costa scored an unbelievable lot overhead. Uh, I think he won 4 0. And that, that game, I was talking to my mate who was with me, and I said, Who, This guy reminds me of somebody. It was like watching a young Zidane. I was thinking, <laughs> This guy is like a young Zidane. He, I was thinking, he, He's going to be our captain like going into 2020, 2022, <laughs> something like that. Um, Thank you know, you, mate. well impressed you. And I've liked you ever since then. So. You know, I was well happy to hear that you had a good season with Palace and stuff, so... Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. Cheers. How's that feel, being being compared to Zidane? That is a massive comparison. It's mad, you know. Is, that, is he one of your favourite ballers yeah, ever? Yeah, yeah, my favourite. Yeah. Him, him and Thierry Henry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Two greats. Both two, French. Two greats, man. Both French. Um, CJ, I just want to ask you myself quickly, uh, whereabouts are you? I'm at outside Volga Airport. Oh, you're at Volga? <laughs> you're at the airport? Yeah. Yeah, we're flying to Moscow tonight. Okay, and what are you going to do when you get out there? Um, well, we just we're we're going to stay in our Airbnb tonight, and then um, we're just going to mull around tomorrow. So we found a fourth division Russian game to go and watch on Thursday. So <laughs> we're going to go and watch that, and then um, yeah, then we get, we get a seven-hour train to Nizhny on Saturday night. So. You're racking up those miles, mate. CJ, it has been an absolute pleasure talking to you. No problem. CJ, to you, mate. my friend, take care. Take, you too, mate. You too. We're proud of you, Ruben. Take care, top man, and enjoy Russia and be safe. Yeah, no problem. Cheers, mate. Nice one. So there you go. We just spoke to CJ, one of the England fans out here in Russia. What a lad. Um, let's just quickly, before we reveal the result of the poll, uh, read out some of your questions. Um, AJ says, what's Ruben's favourite skill move? What's my favourite skill move? Um, <clears throat> I like kind of like fake to go on the line and chop back, like with the outside of my foot. Okay. So kind of roll them kind of thing. Them ones? Yeah, Just, them ones. You know, a bit of chop, chop suey. All right, guys, <laughs> listen, before we get to the rev uh, I reveal the result of the poll, I just want to read out some of the best... Um, I beg your pardon, burping all over the place. This is just crazy much secret stuff. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they can be burp. Some of your three word summaries of yesterday's game. So we're going to have a quick look through and see what they are. Um, Zach Brown, this was a good one. He said, we keep going. I like that. I it wasn't that. really a summary of the game, but it's still good. <laughs> we keep going. Uh, Solomon Neal said, uh, Southgate's great substitutions. Ooh. Ooh, I like that there, Respect. I like that there. Uh, Gaming Newsstand said, ready to fight. I like that one. Ready that to one. fight. And is that, oh, is that all on the free? That is it. That is it. Those are the three best ones we decided to pick out. Okay, so the poll winner of today for the VAR. Are you guys feeling it? Are you not? That was the poll. You guys voted using the I button. Amazing stuff. And the winner of the poll is no. No, you guys are not feeling <laughs> VAR so far. <laughs> throughout the World Cup. So no, look, 59% of you voted, 41% of you said yes. It wasn't a lot in it, to be fair, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think it's kind of harsh. Me personally, up until yesterday's game, I thought yesterday was a bit controversial. You know, Harry Kane yeah, yeah. got rugby tackled on a few times, bit of jiu-jitsu, bit of taekwondo, <laughs> you know, and then Carl Walker barely raised his arm and, you know, they got a penalty, but it happens. I, the rest of the tournament, I think VR has been pretty good, to be honest. No, I think, when the refs look at, look at it back, like in slow motion, mm. you don't know how, you know, powerful these arm swings are and stuff. Yeah, like you see yeah. the slow motion. It's true. It's, it's difficult. Man. It's definitely difficult. And um, yeah, I'm just happy you guys voted and let us know how you felt about it. We have come to the end of the show. That is it. We've given you the poll. We spoke to some fans. We spoke to Ruben. Ruben, you've been an absolute pleasure, bro. As Thank usual, you, man. man. Top man. Thank Guys, you. make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you're watching us on Facebook, make sure you've liked the Facebook page. Remember, we are coming to you daily, all right? Every single day throughout England's campaign. Until England's campaign comes to an end, you will see a Lions Den and all your favourite footballers will be involved. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much, guys. Peace, peace. Peace. Thank you.